DHG here, getting back into my playthrough of one of my favorite games. That would be Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. I'm going to be splitting the segments up a little differently this time. Hour long segments aren't really my thing anymore, they take too long to compress and convert and all the other crap. So I'm going to be splitting it up by missions if I can. That's what I'm going to do here. That and, of course, getting the individual cards. I might do a full playthrough with each individual card member. Or I might just go for the ones necessary. This mission, basically, you go around to each major faction in the war. South Korea, um... Obviously, you've already met the AN in the first video. Allied Nations, the UN, useless. Um, there's also the Russian Mafia and the Chinese. The freaking CCP. when I say the CCP, I say that with 100% complete and total disdain for them and their party. Of course, you know, the AN is here. It's America, but... America's not allowed to be seen doing anything unilaterally. It's always got to be some grand bullshit coalition. Hey, how you doing? This is Major Park. He's a commander of South Korean forces. Ah, he's got a Gadsden flat back there. I've been the company's man in Seoul for 30 years. I'm here to make sure North Korea don't end up the smallest province in the People's Republic. Problem is, Langley didn't exactly supply me with a lot of personnel. Cash, I got. You'll get paid and then some. And we got some nifty toys. Now, if you're willing to do some simple grunt work for me, I'll treat you right. First things first. Song's men are eager to take back this city. So far, Park's troops kept them at bay. But Song is stepping up his offensive, and I don't want to lose Kusong this early in the game. So, if you're up to it, I'm going to pay you to be Park's reinforcement. An army of one, so to speak. If you're interested, Major Park here will give you all the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cram Grandma meeting all three of these major players into one session because it, these missions don't take long. What do you think? Are you going to be able to work with this guy? Believe me, I've dealt with lots of blowhards like him. I've identified each defense point for you. They'll flash when NK troops are in proximity. You won't have long to get from point to point, so be quick. Heavy machine guns. They're useless in this game. Anti-tank guns, on the other hand, are another matter entirely. And when you get to play with the artillery, I really wish they would flesh that out a bit more. The artillery could have been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, go on RPG. What am I doing? That was a miss. That'll learn you. I 
can throw my shoe if you want to. You mean like that one Iraqi dude threw a shoe at George Bush? I saw that video, I about shit myself laughing. Yeah, a recoil was rifle. These kind of look like Chinese swarm tactics. North Korea is their vassal state. It's kind of funny that the, this game doesn't make it notice of that, but you're not allowed to offend China. Look at John Cena, he went ass up. Get out of my way. I got comments to kill. Let's get rid of this. Oh, this is something I forgot to mention in the first video. One of the things that opened my eyes to this game when I first started playing it was just about everything in this game is destructible in some way, shape, or form, minus like uh, rocks, gigantic rocks, and of course that mountain. But these things, I believe they can be blown up if you hit them enough. These sandbags can be destroyed. Vehicles, buildings, whatever's in your way, just blow it up. I never, never really seen that level of destruction before, and I did kind of took me by surprise. I thought one of those South Koreans got hit by collateral damage. I thought they were going to start shooting me. Because they're good like that. At least they're not as picky as they are in the second game. We'll get to that one next. Oh, I can't man that turret without killing him. opportunity. I thought it was going to miss. Whoops, wrong button. grenades. Okay, this mission is over. Here comes the cavalry. They bring in four men. But they're really well trained. Maybe there are some of them notorious South Korean special forces. Up oh, here come the Russians. The Russian Mafia in this game actually has some of the more interesting missions. The AN, or 
I should say the American missions are just flat out terrible. One you have to escort a news reporter around. Just horrible. If he gets killed accidentally, you know, you get a lot of money deducted too, so that sucks. Can't drive through fences. You're here to look at some merchandise. I think he just did a line of coke. Wait. Oh, I thought there was a gun floating in the air over there. That guy looks like he's got... I don't know what the hell that pistol's supposed to be. Answer me. Yosef is right. Listen, you're a mercenary. You'll be working for lots of people. I know how it is. But you want some extra cash? You'll come to Sergei. Speaking of which, I got a job right now you could take. I'm going to test you out. See if you've got what it takes to work for me. Bring me one of Song's troop transports. Should be easy to find, but not so easy to steal, eh? <laughs> if you want in, Yosef here will give you all the details. On the other hand, you can say no and walk out that door right now. You do what you want to do. I don't know if I can say no and progress with the game. Let me see if that's a possibility. No, you cannot. Okay. That's a pretty bad line of dialogue I've never noticed before. It says you could walk out the door, but... If you do, you hey, come right, right on back in because you have to do it. Don't underestimate him. He may act like an idiot, but he's a ruthless killer. Me either, but it could be a valuable resource. I'm just gonna hoof it on foot. Okay. Hello. One of the collectibles just scattered around the map. Oh, there's one dead North Green. Your brown outfit sucks. There's only scattered resistance in the area, but those machine guns could be dangerous. them spawning out of this building the whole time, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I wonder if this gun's that inaccurate in real life. It can't be. Fires the same bullet as the AK-47. Uh, let me get some of these grenades in here. I found a weapons cache. Got a present for you. 
Okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what this is, but I'm getting rid of it. Oh, it's a construction crane. Well, bye bye. Assault rifle. I hate that term. Pretty much means any rifle with a pistol grip. Because, you know, if you have a rifle that doesn't have a pistol whip, I mean pistol grip, you can't assault people with it. And throughout the game, you can drop vehicles off here for cash. Although it's pointless, they don't really give you much. At one point in the game, you do end up hijacking a M1 Abrams. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Something that just reminds me of how dumb that line of dialogue was even now. If you don't do this mission, you don't get access to probably the most important thing in the entire game. The Merchant of Menace. You get the vehicles in here. A lot of the vehicles in here you're never going to use. Some of them are pretty good. Supplies, you're going to be using that a lot. And the airstrikes, they're always fun. Let's get rid of this little radar thing down here. Chinese listeners, or no, this is South Korean. They had some sort of monument like that. I think it was in the gates of Baghdad. It was two scimitars. Get rid of this propaganda statue. She's right in the dick. Oh, I suppose I didn't get the compatibility in my TV. Correct, it just went black again. I'll have to screw with it in the settings menu. You guys can't see it, but it annoys the piss out of me. I understand this game was never released in South Korea for um, obvious reasons. Now I get to go work for the Chinese Communist Party. I knew there was a hidden hidden item around here somewhere. This one. When I was in there in the parking garage and the camera zoomed up a little bit, I was able to see the infrared sights on this uh, tow launcher that's on this Jeep. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know they put that level of detail in here. See if I can jump up on this thing. Yeah, see? I never noticed that. I've been. Damn. I've been playing this game for probably about two decades now. Given the small amount of memory that these consoles had, I'm kind of surprised they pulled that off. Looking for more money? Eh? Mercenary? 
A mercenary, violence for profit. The two hallmarks of Western ideology. Yeah, he's one to talk. Chinese communist parties want to talk on that aspect. What's he got in that jar of hoarded fetuses? Of Part of China's one, one child policy? To if I am to this for China. Throw out all the baby girls? Working for the People's Republic involves many dangerous and unpleasant duties. Dealing with me, chief among them. Reward my trust. Yeah, I'm not listening to him. Charming guy, really. Oh, I'm sure he'll warm right up once you get to know him. What they don't mention is that tanks are great for crushing stuff, but the controls go bonkers if you try to do so. And I wouldn't try to cross many bridges in a armored vehicle. It's just the way the bridges are designed will go like vertically up in the air as if they're trying to drive over cover or hard objects. Games back in this day didn't really get patches after they were released. The world's slowest missile. In the world's, uh... Holy shit, do you see that thing drive up there? <laughs> like, screw this thing, I'm gonna back all the way up a freaking 90 degree hill. Korea makes the best jeeps in existence, apparently. Hmm, how do I make the PLA get out of the vehicle? There we go, get out. Go oppress some Uyghurs or something. Or maybe start another pandemic. This missile launcher's actually got less power than an RPG. Time for an arty strike. Might as well throw it over here. Here comes the rain. Is the CCP dead already? Holy crap, they didn't last. They're disposable soldiers anyway. There's the guns. Yeah, I forgot how weak sauce the original artillery strike is. The one you get later in the game is badass. And the fact that you can call in all three of them, like stacked one on top of the other, just obliterates everything on the map. If you are lucky enough to get out of the blast range, that is. I might use the key cheat code later on to give me more money. 
I just can't remember what it is at the moment. Guys with RPGs up here. Yep, there's one. I think they keep spawning too. I'll have none of that. Oh, damn. Get a C4 charge here. There goes that building. Needs more ammo for my rocket launcher. The RPG. Hmm. Oh, there's some. I might be able to turn these guns around. I don't think I've ever tried to. Nope, can't do it. That's a shame. Alright, I got something for you for this. Yeah, missed that last one. What do you got here? Blackbird scabbard. All right, that's that mission completed. And from here on out, you get to work for whoever it is you want to work for. Uh, okay, I'm good on time. Yep, that's the end of this video.